I'm glad you're with us. I am so excited to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Ryan. His name is Ryan Maloney, but you can Hi. call him Mr. Ryan. Uh, you may say, I've not seen him before, and that's because he is brand new. He is our new children's minister, just started working here, and he is so excited to meet you all. And we've been telling him a lot of good things about those of you that we know, and so he will be here. You'll meet him in line when you come get your food and your books. But uh, you know what? If you come to church here, which we hope and pray you do sometime, he'll be here for vacation Bible school. He's going to be here all the time. He's got kids the same age as you guys are who will be going to the schools with you all. But anyway, I wanted you to meet Mr. Ryan because he's actually answered prayer in our book. We are thrilled he's here. You're going to love him as we do already. And now he's going to tell you a story from God's Word. Oh, thank you. We are so excited to be here, and I cannot wait to meet you guys this summer. I have a book for you called God Made Our World. It's a big old book. A long, long time ago, before God made our world, everything was dark and empty. Then God said, let there be light, and light burst into the darkness. The next day, God made the bright blue sky on the third day. God made the land and the seas and all kinds of plants and trees. I wonder, can you find those things in this picture? Can you find the trees and the plants? God made them all, and God said it was good. On the fourth day, God put lights in the sky. God put the bright sun in the sky for daytime. And then God made the moon and the stars to twinkle in the sky during the night. God saw the sun and the moon and the stars were good. Guess what God made on the fifth day? God made big birds to fly high in the sky and fish to swim and skim through the water. How many different kinds of fish can you find in the water? On the sixth day, God made lots more animals to live on the land. How many can you find? God saw that all the animals and all the fish were good. They're everywhere. On the sixth day, God also created a man and a woman. Adam and Eve were the very first people in our world. Then God looked at everything he'd made and saw that it was very good. God made a beautiful garden for Adam and Eve to live in. God told Adam and Eve they could, not eat, they could eat from all the trees in the garden except one. One day, a snake tricked Eve into eating fruit from that special tree, and then Adam ate some. Because they disobeyed, God made Adam and Eve leave the garden, but God still loved them and watched over them. God filled our world with beautiful things, God wants us to enjoy the wonderful world he's made. God also wants us to help take care of our world. What's one thing you can do to take care of God's beautiful world? Bye. See you soon.